guys i thought i'd pop on and do my july favorites because it is august now unbelievable i know everybody says that but it's absolutely unbelievable i don't know where the year's gone so uh first of all i wanted to this is also a favorite of mine but i wanted to tell you about a new candle that Naom luxury organics have just bought out i'm not sure if it's available to purchase yet um but probably by the time this video goes up it will be it's their new harmonized candle and it looks like this beautiful packaging i just fell in love with it as soon as i saw it and this one is uh, pine cedarwood and eucalyptus um, it's an organic treatment candle and this is one of their home versions they also do travel candles that are a bit smaller but this is just absolutely stunning i've actually done a review of um, another fragrance from their home candle line on my blog so i'll link that down below in case you're interested but this one i haven't burnt it yet because i wanted to show you it um, brand new massive look at it absolutely huge and um, the luxury home candles from them are a definite favorite of mine this month um the first one i had from them was the invigorate it's the grapefruit bergamot and lime one oh, this is difficult i need another pair of hands and the box looks like this i would show you the candle but it's burning in the other room so i can't do that and i just adore this candle it's beautiful but this is the new one this is the new fragrance they do so many different fragrances um i think they must do 12 or so there's so many different ones and this is um supposed to come out today um on the first but i can't see it on the website anywhere but as i said by the time this video goes up it will probably be available to buy it smells absolutely gorgeous it's reminds me of christmas and i'm not quite sure why i guess it must be the pine but i can't wait to burn this so i just thought i would share that with you in case you're interested um in kind of being one of the first people to purchase it because it is a brand new fragrance from them and uh, yeah, I've kind of fallen in love with their candles. They're expensive, they're 39 50 but they last for ages, and they're all organic, so they're not made with any petrochemicals or anything nasty like that, so um, they don't create smoke, they don't burn the inside of the glass, they're gorgeous, so I thought I'd just tell you about the new Neon Harmonized Candle. I have some hair care favorites this month, but I'm not usually um, somebody that talks a lot about hair care products, so I really don't use that many. I don't know, just not really something that interests me. But I found two products this month that I adore. I absolutely love them. The first one is in the glossy box, um, which is the video before this one. And it's the Owl Pie Wild Ginger Texturizing Sea Spray from Paul Mitchell. I love this stuff. I think I'm pretty much more in love with the smell than anything else. It actually just smells like ginger. It's beautiful. But I, um, I've used this on dry hair, and it gives a really nice amount of body. And I've also used it on wet hair. And it kind of makes... Um, it doesn't really create a lot of kind of curl or anything. My hair's very curly anyway, naturally. Um, so I can't really tell whether it does whether it does anything there, but it does create a huge amount of volume. So I really, really like this because I um, I always kind of struggle to get volume in my hair, and this spray definitely does that. And of course it is for beach waves. Oh, it does say it gives a lot of body. Oh, there you go. So it does what it says on the tin. Um, this is just a 25 mil sample, but it is big enough. And I think I will definitely repurchase this in the full size, purely for the smell. The smell is absolutely amazing. I want it as a perfume. So yeah, that's by Paul Mitchell. And the other hair care favorite, um, I posted this on my Instagram because it's massive. It is the, um, TG Bedhead Masterpiece Massive Shine Hairspray. Fantastic, I love this. And um, I'm not usually a big hairspray person, but I've heard really, really, really good things about this. I've heard that it brushes out, it doesn't leave your hair with like a residue on it. Um, you can use it on really clean hair and it won't kind of need washing after you've used it. I know a lot of hairsprays, once you've used them, say for a night out, you have to come back and the next morning wash your hair, even if it was clean that day, because it just leaves like a residue. And I hate that. I hate having heavy products on my hair. But this doesn't do that. You can just brush it straight out. But the thing about this hairspray is the smell. It smells like pineapple. Um, it's, it just does. It doesn't smell like synthetic pineapple. It just smells like pineapple. And I'm pretty much in love with it. So um, I actually just used this really just for the smell. Um, it, the hold of it is really, really good as well. I mean, I've used a few hairsprays and they just don't seem to do a lot because um, I do have a lot of hair and they just don't seem to kind of keep it in place. But this one actually does and I'm really, really impressed. But the smell alone is phenomenal. So if you're kind of into your hair products, um, definitely get this just for the smell because it smells gorgeous. I absolutely love this. Um, 
probably going to go through this pretty quickly, but it is rather huge. It's 340 mil. I don't know why 340, not 350. But there you go. And uh, this is the one of the limited edition tins. If you can see, it's got the graffiti on it. I don't know why. But um, yeah, it's pretty and it smells really nice and it works. So you can't really ask for much more from a hairspray, can you? So those are the two hair care favourites. On to skincare. Uh, just one product for this month. Um, I was going to pick some other things, but... Um, I just decided just to pick this. This is by Organic Surge. Um, I've seen these in Waitrose and places like that, and they do sell them in boots now. Um, and this is the Daily Care Face Wash for all skin types. It's Organic Rose Geranium Essential Oil. It's 200ml. And it's the sensitive skin. It's been tested for that. Um, I really, really like this. This is really nice. I always struggle with um, pump looks like this. I always struggle with finding face washes that I like. I kind of... I have a lot of face scrubs and I'm not really quite sure why because I don't really need to use face scrubs um, that often so I don't know why, I just went through this phase a couple of years ago of buying everything with the had an exfoliant on it, I don't know why but I don't really have just an everyday nice face wash and this, this definitely does, I love this brand anyway but this definitely does the job because it, it's really really soothing um, I'm, it says not to get in your eyes but I really wouldn't imagine that it's, it's that um, astringent even if you did and it says it gets rid of makeup residue and it's just really nice it's a really calming scent as well i really like the scent very very nice i like it i think it's really nice and it just does what it says which is really you know all you want from a face wash i just want something that's kind of not too abrasive because i do have as i said quite a few of abrasive kind of face care things and you don't want that every day so this is a nice everyday face wash i definitely recommend this um, and I'll put the link to it down below because you can order them online, I believe, as well, which is really, really good. Um, and it says it's got uh, organic rose geranium essential oil helps to clear a dull, sluggish complexion and restore the skin's natural balance. No parabens, um, no sodium lauryl sulfates. Fantastic. So if you're after a really good everyday face wash, organic surge, daily care wash, I would definitely recommend it. I really, really like it. On to mascaras. I have been a little bit of a mascara junkie this month. I'm not quite sure why. I always love mascara, but I've just found three that I really, really, really like. The first one um, was sent to me by Stena Cosmetics in America, and I'll link it down below. It's new. It looks like this. I don't know whether you can see the beautiful embossing on it. It's gorgeous. Um, and it is their Voluptulash Mascara. And I really, really like this. I was really excited to try this. Big old wand. What I love about this is it doesn't clump and it's kind of got a stretch formula in it so you don't need to apply too many coats. It says you can just apply one and go and I definitely agree with that. I think if you're into like a natural eyelash look, this one would be perfect for that. You just apply one coat, done, fine, out the door. But you can build it up and that's what I love to do. So if you apply like three coats of it, it doesn't go all clumpy and horrible and spider lashy um, like some mascaras do. It just gets thicker and thicker and more volumized and it's a beautiful formula. So that's by Senna, it's their Voluptual Lash in black. I love that mascara. Another one which I've had for a little while, and um, I, I just, I really, really like. Um, I featured this in a haul, I believe, an Urban Decay haul. It's Urban Decay is a big fatty mascara. It's the reformulated version. The other one used to be in a psychedelic tube, I believe. But this is, this baby is pretty amazing. The wand is massive. It's a plastic wand. But what I love about this is I've worn this because um, I walk a lot. I've worn this walking on really hot days, um, few, you know, a good few hours. And it doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear, um, it doesn't say it's waterproof, but it must be because it doesn't, it doesn't do any of those things. It doesn't flake, it's just a really nice elastic kind of formulation. It's blacker than black, it's gorgeous. Um, and it's very, very separating for the lashes. I'd say this is definitely a thickening mascara more than a lengthening one. So if you're into that, I definitely recommend this. Um, but I, what I love about it is it's kind of, I've kind of tested it in all sorts of situations and it doesn't come off. So it's fantastic, but having said that, there's no problem with it when you come to take it off at night, it just comes straight off. So I absolutely, I adore this. It's really creamy, like I, I know it sounds like a weird thing to say about mascara, but the formula of it is really, really creamy. It's really comfortable to wear as well, so I really like that from Urban Decay. And another one that I just picked up recently came with a uh, Marie Claire magazine, I believe. It's over there. Yeah, it's the Avon Super Shop Max Mascara. And they gave away three of these. Uh, one of them was the curling one, another one was the lengthening one. But I did want this, and I like the colour of the tube. So, and they have £10. 
Um, so that's quite a good deal, really, because Marie Claire magazine is like three forty, I believe. Lovely wand. I have it on today. If I get a little bit closer, you might be able to see. Oh, I don't know. Really nice. Really separating. Um, you know, if you if you like your lashes not to be clumpy and not to look really, really kind of like full on mascara, this is a definite, definite recommendation for people that like that kind of fanned out look. So three mascaras this month. Fallen in love with them. Love them all. On to some eye products. Um, I have three of the Nat Origin um, Sensitive Eyes Eye Pencils. Two of them are on new colours, which is very exciting. I have one of them on today. Um, I have, let me see, I have grey, I have black, and I have a light look. I have the light look one on today. Really pretty, right? I have the light one on today. I really, really like it. Um, and Nat Origin, I've mentioned them before, they do all organic um, skincare, makeup. So if you're into that, definitely check them out. I'll put the link down below. These are 750 each, I believe. I look like this. Just they're really, really creamy. That's what I like about these because I know a lot of organic makeup brands, um, their eyeliners you can swatch from will on the hand, and then when you go to put them over eyeshadow, nothing comes out. I've had that a lot. But these are fantastic. I really like them. You just don't have to work too hard with them. The colours are beautiful. The next one is grey, which I'm so excited about because I love grey eyeliner. I know it's a bit odd, but they're really, really creamy. And then the last one is the classic black, which is beautiful. I love this one. Can never have too many black eyeliners, right? So this is the black one. And that's what they look like. So that's lilac, grey and black. Beautiful. And they look like, look like this. Gorgeous. Love them all. Love them all. So I'll put the link down below. Um, I really love the lilac one. I think it's stunning. I have it on with Limelight and Rockstar from Urban Decay from the Mariposa palette. Really beautiful. So those are by Nat Origin. I love those eyeliners. Definitely recommend them. Onto a kind of staple product, could be a little bit boring, but I really like it. It's the Collection 2000 Sheer Loose Powder in Barely There. I just got this, um, and I went onto, after I bought it, I went onto Makeup Alley to look at the reviews, and everyone raved about it. So yeah, that, that was kind of good. It's 2 dollars for 20 grams. You can't argue with that. I really like it. Comes with a sifter. Pretty basic, but it's a really nice powder, a really nice mattifying powder. I was going to buy, again, because I've run out of it, nearly, I was going to buy the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Transparent Powder again because I thought, oh I like it, I'll just do that. Um, but my mother said, oh you try that because she's tried it and she really liked it and I thought, oh it's a bit cheap isn't it? And I know that's not how you should think but we all do, don't we sometimes. But I bought it and as I said, read the reviews and everyone loved it and I really like it. I've been using it for a couple of days, really love it, definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good just sling on powder. This one will do you. Yeah. Really nice, love it. And it's got mica in it as well so it's kind of um, glowy. Really like it. So that's by Collection 2000. And then finally for kind of makeup related things, I have my three brushes that I've been absolutely in love with. They're all by Sedona Lace. I will link the review that I did to them down below in the description box or here somewhere if you want to go and see that. The first one that is, oh I love this, it's the Sedona Lace EB13. It is a little travel size synthetic blending brush. This brush is like a magic eraser. All you need to do if you make any kind of mistake with your eyeshadow or you put it up too high or you just want to buff it all over and blend it out seamlessly, you just put this on, back and forth, gone. It's like magic. It just blurs everything fantastically. I love this little brush. Um, and then the other two are the um, Angle Tuck Kabuki, the S O uh, S, the 602. I use this every day for my contour. It's fabulous. I love this brush. It's absolutely fantastic. Everyone should own this brush. And then the other one is the uh, Round Top Kabuki, the 480. I'm having trouble with my numbers today. I don't know why. And I use this for blush and um, recently I've been using it for my highlight as well because it just fits kind of over the cheekbone perfectly. It's beautiful and it blurs everything out. So these three brushes from Sedona Lace, as I said, go and check out my review if you're interested, but I adore these brushes, using them every day since I got them. Okay, so on to some random favourites. Um, we all like a little bit of randomness, don't we? I got these shoes recently from, um, I was going to say Poundland, no, from Primark. They're kind of like, a little bit like Gladiator ones. I really like the style on them. I like the kind of the leather style on them. I think they're really pretty. They zip up at the back. The best thing about these shoes though is they were three pounds. So if you're looking for shoes, people, go down to Primark because they're having their summer reduction on 
um, early because our summer's been so appalling. So you could pick yourself up some real bargains and I really, really like these. I think they're really nice. They look lovely on as well and they're super comfy. So, favourite shoes. And then onto some other random favourites. These are totally random. <laughs> First of all, Love Phil. Um, I was offered a trial last at the beginning of last month, beginning of July. You can just, if you've never tried Love Film, you can just go onto the website, sign up for a free trial, and you get a month free. So it's nothing clever. You just just go and sign up. Um, and I've had it for a month, and I stopped paying for it in a minute. And I absolutely adore the whole concept. Totally late to the party, but hey, better late than never. I love Love Film. I freaking love it. I just adore Love Film, and I'm on the um, three, no, two discs at a time one. I think that's plenty. Um, so last night we watched Premonition with Sandra Bullock, which is a really good film. And tonight we are going to watch Seven Pounds with Will Smith. So yeah, love, love film. You just, honestly, and it's, oh, great big aeroplane. And it's really cheap. It's only 9 99 the package I'm on. So I think that's a really good deal. And you can have as many films in a month as you like. So um, definitely love film, love it. And then this I'm so excited about have to show you this because I'm so excited. I've got this big box today in the post. Um, I was expecting it though because I paid for it. Um, and this it, this box is full of sweets. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to show you. Right, I have to show you what is in this box. I put a picture up earlier um, on my Instagram of what was in it. I'll just show you now because this is an absolute favourite. Full of sweets. Oh my goodness. And this um, is a company called A Quarter Of. You can find them at quarterof.co.uk and they sell um, like really classic sweets, hard to find sweets in the UK. Um, and their shipping is £3.95 regardless of how much you buy. They do sweet hampers. They do, oh my god, they do everything. It's like, you know when people say I'm like a kid in a sweet shop? Well, you actually are when you go there. So I placed an order the other night. They take PayPal as well, which I love. I placed an order the, on Sunday night, late Sunday night, when I wanted some sweets. And uh, they turned up today, which is Wednesday. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I just thought I'd show you what I got because it's fantastic. This order came to around fifteen pounds. So I did. I did pay for it. They didn't send them to me. This order came to around fifteen pounds, but I got so much that it's so worth it. So these are the sour strawberry swirly lollies. Oh my god! I had to have these. Like I just had to have them. These are actually made by them, um, and they do blackjack lollies and they do all sorts of different flavors. But these are actually made by them. Um, and look, they're massive as well. Look, they're huge. Can't wait to try these. So you get. What did you get? Uh, you get eight of these. I think they're about two pounds, so <laughs> fantastic. Love those. Um, I then picked the Lemonade Fizz Balls, which are amazing. Some of the old packaging, like this. And uh, I'm going to show you one. Probably not. I'll throw the whole lot on the floor in a minute. They look like this. So nice. Um, and they're just like, what, lemonade fizz balls, really. Cute packaging. And then I ordered, they come in the little white bags as well, like the traditional old sweet shops. Just you got to love it. And I ordered uh, Cola Whips, which are like three foot long or something stupid. Cola Whips. Have to have Cola Whips, don't you? And I also ordered Apple Whips, which I ate earlier. Didn't eat all of them. Had to stop myself. But I ordered apple whips, and the last thing I ordered was down here, um, apple fizz belts, like the sour apple belts. So yeah, I'm gonna eat all of those, and I won't feel guilty about it at all. So if you're interested in a quarter of, I'll leave the link down below. They do every single conceivable sweet imaginable. They also sell chocolates. So if you're in the UK, definitely go and check that out because honestly, it's just you could be on that site for hours. But it doesn't matter how much you buy, you only pay three ninety five for shipping. So that is um, that's a quarter of them there. So I'll just show you this. This is their little logo. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. So random favourite, but um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like I'm ten years old again because everybody loves sweets, right? They should. If they don't, they're crazy. So go and check out a quarter of. So those are my favourites. Been a really long video, but I don't care. Those are my favourites for the month of July. I hope you're having a wonderful day, guys, and I will see you all very, very soon. I have lots of new videos to put up. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.